Alright, hello people, I'm the dude, and this is Let's Play The Unholy War. Uh, more arcane versus technos action. Uh, this is map 5, the river crossing. Uh, when the technos invaded Exara, the war raged for decades in a grisom deadlock. There was no victor. Instead, the, the exhausted armies called a truce that would keep the Technos and Arcane nations in uneasy peace for centuries. They were at peace. Huh. The only common law was that no child of both nations should ever be born. How the hell would that work? <laughs> I guess an angel could breed with a, a wasp or something? I don't know. <laughs> That'd be a tough one, mechanically. I'm not really sure how that would work. I want to see a Quicksilver breed with a Bronze here. <laughs> that would be interesting. Uh, let's see. Here at this quiet river ford, we have an opportunity to ambush the Technos and stop them from devastating our poorly defended inner nations. We must take advantage of the land's bottleneck. Right. Uh, and use our superior flying and transportation to outmaneuver our enemy. Unfortunately, the Magus Lizards are in secret conclave and cannot help us here today. Okay, that's not good. Magus is my staple unit. He's my mainstay. Not having Magus is going to make this infinitely more difficult. Hmm. Let's see what these guys want to do. I've got to take Brontu and get him over to the AUR. And... We're going to move the Fire Witch up to here and block this path off for now. Give us some time to get set up. Looks like he's going to teleport onto the AUR. Okay, that's fine. I can deal with that. They can't get through because they cannot fly. I'm going to move Angel up and start killing dudes. At least that's the plan. Got to get Bronzu over here. Very good. Uh, I think I'll take Fire Witch over and kill this Tesla. Yeah. Oh, cannot land on water. Did not know that. Okay. Just wait there. That's fine. Can't build anything right now, so we'll just wait. Uh, move him up to... Actually, we'll switch these two around. Because eventually they're going to move through here. And they'll have to defeat Angel. Uh, 115. I need enough for another Brawn too. There we go. Put him on this AUR. And good. Alright. Yes, you want to attack Angel. Yes, you do. You very much want to. You lose. <laughs> Victory. Angel is so cool. He's not the strongest unit. I mean, Magus beats him out easily, but he wins in style, basically. He gets style points. Okay, this is a more irritating matchup right here. I have to get pretty close to hit him with the eye lasers. And getting close to a Jaeger is a bad idea. Doing okay so far, though. Ow. Ow. Running out of energy here. Come on. There we go. Not too bad. Uh, his eye laser range is just slightly, very minutely, uh, longer than Jaeger's attack range. So it worked out pretty good. He's gonna nuke to finish me off because he's a bastard. <laughs> Damn you. 
Okay, fine. Let's see how it is. Uh, I think I need... I need an Ecton if I can get one. Yeah. Need an Ecton. And we'll have a Fire Witch move around to attack this guy. She should be able to fly over that little space right there, no problem. Other than that, just pass the turn. Oh great, Quicksilver. It had to be Quicksilver, it couldn't be anything else. Give me a Piranha Devil. Actually, give me several Piranha Devils. There we go. Good, first try. Uh, I can't move Ecton up anymore. So he's just gonna wait. We'll move this guy up. Go and attack this Quicksilver right here. This should be a really easy fight. Much like Wasp, Piranha Devil should always be Quicksilver. If I don't screw it up. Come on. Gotcha. Gotta get away from her quick after you jump onto her, because she'll use her melee attack on you. Come on. Get back, get back. No, no, no. Kind of like that. She tried to twice. Gotcha. And it's a good game, my friend. <laughs> That right there is a perfect example of how to fight Quicksilver. That that was textbook, basically. That couldn't have gone any better. This kill cycle over here might attack him, but eh, I don't really care. It's fine. I think for now I'm gonna get Egton up there to kill that Jaeger. Or at least that's the plan. Move you up. He popped out a Tesla on me, that's not good. Jaeger is actually attacking me. <laughs> uh, this is a good matchup for him, really bad matchup for me. Just getting close to Jaeger is dangerous. And my only really good weapon is that right there. He'll probably kill me right after I get off. Nope, the little uh, spinning deal on the outside of the level got me. But yeah, really bad matchup. I want to fight him with Ecton if I can. Let's see, what are you doing? He's gonna put Tesla on the base. Okay, that's fine. Where's Kill Cycle going? Okay. Hmm. They're blocking the Jaeger off, so I can't get to him, which is not good for me. Let's make an angel right there, and let's teleport you. Oh wow, I don't have the money to get him that far over. Uh, as you can see in the bottom right, it costs a certain amount of money depending on how far you want to go. I don't have enough money to get him over here, I guess. No, I have the money. Why does it not let me? Maybe there's a max range on it or something? I don't know. We're just going to walk him over there. And... Can I get to... Yeah, I can. Eh, that's not the best matchup in the world, though. Hmm. I don't really like any of these matchups, but I'm gonna try and kill Tesla. I'm gonna give it a shot. The Exxon was there for the Jaeger, but I can't get to him right now. So, kinda screwed that way. Ooh, I got him. That just turned out pretty good. Very good! Ha ha ha! He didn't use his teleport well. That's why he lost. Ugh, kill cycle. Gotta dodge his attacks if I can. Okay, dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, that was a perfect example of not dodging well. <laughs> if I could have ran him out of energy, I could have chased him around the map and maybe killed him. Possibly. He's a lot faster than Ecton, so it'd have been tough. There was a chance, though, if I hadn't screwed the pooch completely. Uh, he can't move. Give me another Ecton if I have the money. Do I? No, I don't. Okay. Okay, just move the fire witch over here. What, are you gonna run away? <laughs> He's gonna run away. Didn't get very far, though. Let's go ahead and try and kill him off. 
If you can get him to teleport and then dive on him, he'll take a ton of damage. But you gotta get him to teleport first. There we go, teleport. Dive. Same deal, get him to teleport. Come on. I'll take that. There we go, teleport and dive. What is this? Health. Alright. It just directly hit him in the face. He just walked right into that one. <laughs> Fire Witch makes good. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to lose that fight. It would have taken a serious screw up on my part to lose that fight. Let's see, move the angel up. And give me an Ecton. Move him up. There we go. He doesn't have enough money to do anything, which is good. I'm gonna go ahead and kill this kill cycle. In fact, Angel might be able to win this right here, depending on how well I play it. No, you suck. Nope. Nope. You miss. Angel can actually chase him around the map in the air. Which is kind of cool. And one hit. He's running away a lot. Oh wow, I screwed that up. Oh, that went right through him. What the hell? Get the speed. There we go. Wait for him to get low, and then fly out of the way. Or try, anyway. Didn't work. <laughs> Angel's just too slow. Even with speed, he's slow as dirt. I barely survived that. What the hell? Um, interesting. Okay, so, sorry about that. Uh, the last fight of that episode that I was doing... Uh, I think it was five, maybe, or four, something like that. Uh, the last fight, the game froze. Uh, it was Angel versus Jaeger to finish the map. And uh, I was in between starting that fight and the game froze up. So I called back up to where I was. It's going to be Angel versus a Razor fan this time. That's just the way it panned out. So let's go ahead and finish her up. Pretty easy. No big deal. The Jaeger wouldn't have been much harder. Yeah, I don't know why the game froze. I don't think I've ever seen it do that before, but... Whatever. Arcane victory! We lost one. Dazzling victory! Very good. Yes, you accessed that memory card. Magus is my staple unit. He's my mainstay. Not having Magus is going to make this infinitely more difficult. Hmm. Let's see what these guys want to do. I've got to take Brontu and get him over to the AUR. Here at this quiet river ford, we have an opportunity to ambush the Technos and stop them from devastating our poorly defended inner nations. We must take advantage of the land's bottleneck. Right. Uh, and use our superior flying and transportation to outmaneuver our enemy. Unfortunately, the Magus Lizards are in secret conclave and cannot help us here today. Okay, that's not good. Was that no child of both nations should ever be born. How the hell would that work? <laughs> I guess an angel could breed with a, a wasp or something? I don't know. <laughs> That'd be a tough one, mechanically. I'm not really sure how that would work. I want to see a Quicksilver breed with a Brontu. <laughs> that would be interesting. Uh, let's see.
Alright, hello people. I'm the dude, and this is Let's Play The Unholy War. Uh, more arcane versus technos action. Uh, this is map 5, The River Crossing. Uh, when the technos invaded Exara, the war raged for decades in a grisom deadlock. There was no victor. Instead, the, the exhausted armies called a truce that would keep the Technos and Arcane nations in uneasy peace for centuries. They were at peace. Huh. The only common law...